Today we're going to explore a popular topic, manifesting. There are many great books and teachers who lecture on the topic, and some of my favorites include Esther Hicks, the late great Wayne Dyer, and of course my dear friend Gabby Bernstein. But the basic premise of manifesting is this. Our thoughts have the power to create our reality. Really take that in. Our thoughts have the power to create our reality. And those thoughts create feelings, which create energy that attracts more of the same, either positive or negative. So basically, you have the power to attract what you like, but also what you don't like by what you consistently focus on. That's why you want to point your thoughts in the positive direction of your soul's desire. Now, this doesn't mean that unforeseen circumstances don't take place or that you can never have a negative thought or feeling. That's impossible. But on a day-to-day -day practical basis, what we think, how we feel, and the energy we put out in the world all contribute to what we get back. So again, the goal of manifesting is to align your thoughts and energy with the energy of what you desire. And then the next step is to believe and trust that what you want to call forth into your life is on its way. What you seek is also seeking you. You're worthy of your dreams and the universe supports you. Here's an example. So years ago, one of my goals was to work at the Sundance Theater Institute. This was back when I was an actor and a dancer and Sundance was one of the hottest gigs to get. So I whipped out my date planner, which at the time held all my daily auditions, and I wrote my desire on a page that I'd see each and every day. Every time I looked at that paper, I dreamed about what it would be like, what it would feel like, how fun it would be, how creative it would be, the incredible people I'd meet. I saw the audience's smiling faces. I lived the experience as if it had already happened, and I trusted that one day it would. But I didn't just sit around staring at my date planner. I kept auditioning, perfecting my craft, and putting myself out there. I took as many jobs as possible, including summer theater in quiet, sleepy little towns. Well, one of those jobs introduced me to a director who liked working with me so much that he hired me for other jobs. So one day he called me up and he said, hey, I just got a job directing the big summer musical at the Sundance Theater Institute. I'd love for you to be in it and to also be my assistant director and choreographer. Are you interested? <laughs> yeah! My bags have been packed for years. See you in Utah. Well, it was amazing. Everything I dreamed it would be and more. And what's best, it challenged me to rise to a level of leadership that was both scary and exhilarating. And I was able to bring my best self to the experience because I already had a dress rehearsal in my mind. Now I have lots of examples like this, including more serious examples around finding my oncologist. So you see, this practice isn't just for getting stuff or accomplishments. Manifesting can help you align your thoughts and actions in a direction that helps support your life. So let's recap the manifesting steps. Number one, get clear on what you want. See it in your mind's eye, dream about it, journal on it, share it with your best friend, write it in the sky if you have to, put it out there. Number two, feel what it feels like to embody your dream. Feel your feelings as if what you desire has already happened. Live those feelings with total belief that what you seek is also seeking you. And as you cultivate these feelings, you begin to raise your vibration and release energy that becomes a magnet for manifesting. Number three, take inspired action. What's one thing you could do today, this week, or this year to bring you closer to your dream? And if you're not sure, that's okay. Just stay in the feeling and let your intuition guide you. Remember, life isn't a straight line. We zig, we zag, but when we practice elevating our energy, creating the life we wanna live is far more likely to occur. Number four, trust. Even though you may not know the timeline or understand how to get there, trust that it's all coming together. And don't be surprised if what you desire manifests in a different or unexpected package. You may even discover that your dreams were too small or what seemed like a failure was the universe pointing you in an even better direction. 
So now it's your turn. What's one thing you wanna manifest? Share in the comments below, or share a great manifesting story from your own life. I hope this serves you and helps you live like you mean it. Remember to go to chriscar.com and sign up for my newsletter. It's filled with tips and treasures to help supercharge your life, plus some free goodies. See you soon. Thank you.